This right here is my Firelight MS9200 UDLS addressable fire alarm control panel, and I have it wired in to my Cooper Wheelock SafePath SP MNS voice evacuation fire alarm amplifier panel. Today, as a special pull station, I have a yellow Global Fire Control RMS-1T, and we're going to go ahead and pull it and see what happens. If you didn't catch the last system test, I'm now able to use custom messages on my Wheelock safe path. So I decided to use a chlorine alarm message wired into this yellow pull station. And I did that because yellow is a common color that represents oxidizers within the hazardous materials community. And chlorine is an oxidizer. So when that gets pulled, I have my Amber Wheelock RSSA-24MCW strobe and it starts flashing and then over this simplex speaker it is a 4902-9717 um, over the speaker the alert message plays and the speaker can also duel as fire messages for when we test the fire portion of the system later in the test and it can also make general PA announcements as well that's why voice evacuation systems are really nice. We'll go ahead and test out the fire alarm portion of this demonstration board. As you can see, I do have a Wheelock RSS, but it's not your typical RSS. This is a Wheelock RSS-24MCWH. It is the high candela version of the RSS. So if we look at the bottom of it, you can see it can go between 135 and 185 candela. And what that basically means is this strobe can flash extremely bright and it's right now set on its brightest setting. Going down, we have a Firelight SD350 addressable photoelectric smoke detector. We are going to test this one out today with a magnet. And then to the right here, you may notice we have a new botch detector on the board but we're not going to test this one out until the next system test or later on. There is a new conventional fire alarm pull station on the board. It is a Gamewell M46-1 Century fire alarm pull station. And as you can see, it is the local alarm model. So we'll go ahead and pull that later in the video for demonstration. But first, let's go ahead and test out this Firelight addressable smoke detector. So you can do that with a magnet and you just hold the magnet about right here Sometimes it takes a second. There we go. So as you can hear, I do have some more simplex voice evacuation being used. All right, let's go ahead and pull the game wall sentry and re-alarm the system. Attention, your attention please. An emergency situation has been confirmed in this area. You are requested to leave the building. Use the stairways and marked exits only. Move quickly and quietly. Do not run. Do not run. Attention. Your attention, please. An emergency situation has been confirmed in this area. You are requested to leave the building. Use the stairways and marked exits only. Move quickly and quietly. Do not run. Do not run. 
All right, I've gone ahead and silenced the system with the Firelight Enunciator here. And let's go ahead and reset the game wall sentry. So with this model, there is just a screw on the top here. And all you have to do is unscrew it. It's just a flat head. And then the whole front kind of comes down, flip the switch, reset the handle, and then close the pull station and retighten the screw. Let's pull one of the BG12LXs because why not? Here we go. All right, and why not? All right, I think that is plenty of system testing for this system test. I really enjoy making videos on this. It's really cool to have some custom messages. Thank you all for watching. If you found any of this cool, you'll definitely want to subscribe and check out some of my other videos. All right, have a great day, everyone.